Welcome to our presentation of the Voltage Stability Case 1. Pacific Gas and Electric, under their Synchrophaser project, have been our deployment and test partners for a comprehensive, measurement-based and model-based approach towards proactive voltage stability management. Here, we have also worked alongside our technology partners, namely Quanta and PowerTech Labs, in integrating their voltage stability algorithms and tools within our Alstom platform. This specific case highlights the purely PMU measurement-based technique for voltage instability detection and margins prediction, known as Real-Time Voltage Instability Indicator, or RVII for short, which is a quanta proprietary algorithm that runs as a modular component within Alstom's Synchrophaser solution. We will first take a quick look under the hood of the RVII algorithm. Here we see the grid of interest, which is a wind farm supplying power through bus 301. This bus was therefore selected for deployment and has all the necessary synchrophaser measurements. The algorithm first creates internally an image of the system as shown at the bottom and then uses these measurements to compute source voltage, reactance of the serial line and load impedance every 33 milliseconds. All these elements are finally used in collapse detection and margin prediction. Let's now take a look at the operator visualization. What you're viewing is our real-time operator user interface with the following visual elements. A geospatial overview display with power flow animations, a megawatt margin indicator which shows the percentage of actual megawatts consumed as a fraction of the violation limit. Currently, the indicator shows that we have 64% or 110 megawatts before any alarms can be raised. Bus 301 is where RVII is monitoring voltage stability. Operational PQ plots show the operating point and the corresponding voltage collapse boundary. Voltage and active power margin trends are also shown the active power margin trends include the voltage collapse margin shown as an orange trend and the voltage violation margin shown as a purple trend. Initially, we see normal operating conditions with adequate megawatt margins. However, we soon observe a degrading voltage trend also seen as a voltage contour profile indicating the location of the low voltage condition. At the same time, we see the megawatt margins drop. The corrective action here is to switch on a shunt capacitor, which restores the voltage and megawatt margins return to safe operating levels. Let's do a quick recap of the results. The voltage is always within acceptable operating conditions. The shunt capacitor is switched at approximately 248 seconds. Pre and post switching margins are 29 megawatts and 86 megawatts respectively. Finally, these margins at specific time instances are also shown. To learn more about these tools, I'd encourage you to talk to the Alstom team and our partners PG&E, Quanta and PowerTech Labs.